Welcome back to my channel. Today I have another what's for breakfast video for you. I've done one of these in the past and you all seem to really enjoy it so I figured I would go ahead and do another one. I do have to apologize for my voice. I have a cold right now so my voice probably sounds a little bit off from what it normally does but I'm on the mend and I will be feeling better soon I hope. But for this video I have two super easy and healthy breakfast ideas and then I also have two that are just like family favorites of ours so I figured I would go ahead and share those with you today. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, I just want to say welcome. My name is Caitlin. I do tons of cooking videos on this channel. I do a what's for dinner every Sunday, crock pot meals, meal prep, grocery hauls, all things food over on my channel. So if that is something you are interested in, make sure you hit that subscribe button. But let's go ahead and get into all of these breakfast ideas. So for this first breakfast recipe, I'm just making some breakfast egg cups or egg bites, whatever you want to call them. But this is one of those breakfasts that you can make ahead of time, which is super nice. You can keep them in the fridge or even the freezer. So I just have my muffin tin here that I spray with a little bit of olive oil. And then I'm cracking one egg into each of those muffin tins. I like to keep the seasonings on mine very simple just because my kids are eating these, but feel free to add whatever you want. I'm just doing a little bit of salt and pepper as well as some garlic powder. You can definitely play around with the seasonings here and add whatever your family loves on their eggs. And then I do like to just whisk them up just a little bit with a fork in the muffin tin. I'm not going for full scrambled eggs here, but I do like to mix them a little bit. Now for the toppings on these eggs, you can totally play around. On this particular day, I just decided to add a little bit of red pepper that I had left to use up in my fridge. I also had some spinach in my freezer that I had left over, so I just threw it in there. So I just decided to chop that up. I did make sure to pull out any like big pieces or big stems, but make sure that this is really well chopped up. But some other options of things that you can add are like onion, any sort of vegetable, you can also add in some bacon or sausage or really any other type of meat but those are what I would recommend adding here you can also add in a little bit of shredded cheese if you want but I opted to just leave all of that out and make these really nice and healthy on this day I did decide to add on just a tiny bit of bacon, probably like right around half a teaspoon of those real bacon bits. And then I'm just kind of stirring everything together before popping it into the oven. You're gonna bake these at 350 degrees for right around 15 minutes. Just keep an eye on them and you'll know that they are done when they are nice and set. And they're just a little bit golden brown on the edges. These are super good plated up with some fruit or some tomatoes just like I did on this morning. Another really quick and easy breakfast idea is to make some avocado tomato egg toast. You can also just make this as avocado toast with a fried egg, but I love to slip that tomato in there. So I'm just starting off by getting my egg cooked up. I just like to add a little bit of salt and pepper, and then I just fry this until it is completely cooked through. For my toast on this morning, I'm just using some Italian bread that I had to use up in my freezer, throwing that in my toaster. While that's toasting up, I'm getting my avocado ready. I don't know about you guys, but I love when I open up my avocado and it's absolutely perfect with no brown spots in it. There is nothing better. So I'm just throwing that into a bowl and just kind of lightly mashing it up with a fork. I'm not doing anything crazy, but I do like to make sure that it's a little bit mashed before actually adding it to my toast. And then I'm just gonna slice up my tomato so I can get a nice thick piece of tomato for my toast. Here is that Italian bread all toasted up and then I'm just taking that mashed avocado and just making sure it's really well spread around. I don't use the full avocado. I would say I use like two thirds to three quarters of an avocado for one slice of toast. And then I'm just putting on my favorite seasoning. This is just a little bit of black pepper, salt and garlic powder. And then here is my egg avocado toast. Super easy and it's also very filling and a very healthy, nice breakfast. One of our family's all-time favorites is to make some crepes for breakfast. We just serve them with some syrup. 
but I'm gonna get all of my dry ingredients mixed together first into my mixing bowl. So here is one and a half cups of regular flour. You're going to need one tablespoon of granulated sugar, half a teaspoon of baking powder, as well as about half a teaspoon of salt, and you're gonna get all of that whisked together before adding in your wet ingredients. For the wet ingredients, I have two eggs that I'm adding. I'm also adding in two cups of milk, as well as about a splash of vanilla. The recipe calls for half a teaspoon. I probably do closer to one teaspoon, and then just get all of that mixed together. The last thing that you're going to need is just a couple tablespoons of butter that you have melted. Get all of that mixed in there really well and then you're ready to cook up these crepes. So when I make my crepes, I always do it on my stove top. You could try it out on a skillet, but I really like to make them in a smaller pan. Our family actually prefers our crepes on the thicker side, kind of somewhere between a standard crepe and a pancake. So that's what I do and I will just usually get two pans going so they take a little bit less time. And you're just gonna cook these until there's just a little bit of golden brown on each side and then they're all done and ready to go. You can serve them up with syrup, powdered sugar, fresh fruit, jam, fruit sauce, a lot of people do Nutella. It's totally up to you and your family's preferences, but we absolutely love these crepes for a really quick and easy breakfast. If you like pancakes or German pancakes, I definitely recommend giving this recipe a try. It's somewhere right in the middle of those two and our family really enjoys these a ton. The last recipe that I'm going to be sharing today is some French toast. This is pretty standard, but I feel like this recipe turns out super good every single time. So I definitely recommend trying this one out if you're just looking for a new French toast recipe. So I'm just cracking four eggs right into my bowl. I literally always crack an eggshell in there. I'm not the best when it comes to cracking eggs. And then I'm just giving those a quick whisk together before adding in the rest of my ingredients. I like to add in about one cup of milk and then probably about a teaspoon of vanilla. I always add a little bit of extra. And then for some extra flavor, I'm adding in just a tiny bit of nutmeg. I would say less than an eighth of a teaspoon. And then probably about half a teaspoon of cinnamon. I do add a little bit more cinnamon and sugar later on. And then right into this mix, I do also add in a tablespoon of sugar. And then you're just gonna mix all of this together before actually making your French toast. Now I'm just moving over to my griddle. I really do like making French toast on the grill. It's just super fast and easy instead of using a pan. I'm just spraying it with a little bit of vegetable oil over medium heat. And then I'm taking my bread and dipping that right into the egg and the milk mixture. Now for bread in this recipe, I would really recommend using some type of white bread. This is just plain old white bread. My all time favorite is to use the Texas toast. It's just super thick and makes the best French toast. Another great one to use is just Italian bread. A lot of times I will have that in my freezer, so that's another one that I really like to use for French toast. The other thing that I do to really step up this French toast recipe is before I flip the French toast over, I like to add a little bit of cinnamon sugar right on top. I just have it mixed up in a shaker and then I will go ahead and flip it over. This just makes it almost caramelized brown sugar and cinnamon on it and it's just super delicious. So if you want to just take up your French toast one extra step, I definitely recommend trying this out. So this is what the French toast looks like when they are all done. Super quick and easy and delicious and you can also throw it in your freezer for later on and then to pair with that French toast I just decided to make up some bacon on my other griddle which is a great tool if you don't have a griddle in your kitchen I definitely recommend getting one they're just very quick and easy especially when it comes to making breakfast French toast bacon pancakes anything like that this is one of my favorite kitchen tools
here is what my breakfast looks like all plated up. I just have that French toast with some syrup, the bacon on the side with some fresh fruit. This was a super, super delicious breakfast. All right, guys, that is going to wrap up this What's for Breakfast. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Hit that little subscribe button if you have not already. I do post a new What's for Dinner every single Sunday. I have a crock pot series going on right now. And I also have lots of food prep videos and grocery hauls coming up. So if that is something you're interested in, make sure you are subscribed. But I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. As a young girl, it feels were mine. We played hide and seek for hours, raised our shadows among the pines. So offshore, playful and free.